seeing i think almost all of these for the first time i really enjoyed them and i think it's great that the students are able to put together so many new things and uh, learn so much these kids have gone gone off and they've discovered a kind of treasure and they are sharing it with you and then you are having such fun trying to understand what that is all about and that's how history should be we are so wrapped up in our mundane lives typically that we miss out all the magic which is around us for me history was just a bunch of textbooks and nothing but written text with just occasional black and white images good picture or a good image is worth a thousand words and when you bring these images in these formats using technology they tend to come alive they begin to start telling their own stories because they spur your imagination and you begin to visualize what could have happened you learn only when your curiosity is wetted i think there's a new pedagogy that is being presented here the process that we've started can be actually revolutionary and the children can be revolutionizing the study of history of by course. discovering stuff they are like an army of little historians all over the place discovering stuff it brings up the possibilities of actually uh, creating repositories of these 3d images they can go out and do local histories these artifacts can carry a real story and these are stories that deserve to be told and retold it's a very impressive amount of research that we've done they're able to bring out uh, aspects which don't strike researchers before when i used to learn history in school classes it was like the boring subject and the perspective in my mind was uh, i just hate this subject but after this competition studying history became more interesting now i don't think that history is uh, very boring it's like a fun subject and whenever i hear something about history when teachers teaches something about any kadambas or uh, chalukya something about that history i feel like to go to that place or the temple or the places which is related to what teacher just said i would like to more research about the place i can see that uh... there is a paradigm shift in the context of how students can visualize history and absorb it and be excited by it was uh, an eye opening experience if anyone pushes your person uh, down he will not fall instead he will stand up in his life and get very bold and uh, able to face their problems i'm extremely impressed and humbled by the learnings that you have had the whole point of uh, it leaning and then again falling erect is a beautiful learning and you should adopt it throughout your life even in the word history there is a story isn't it the more you are interested in stories the more you like stories it grows on you and that is very clearly visible the change which i saw in my students last year uh, the interest level not just in the participants but in the students uh, other than those ones also there was a little level of increase in their interest because as you say otherwise they consider history a pretty dry subject collaborating technology with history is something which is actually the buzz here engineers know how to solve a problem but it's people from the humanities who know which problem to solve and critical thinking is a very important skill that at least the humanities people learn at quite great depths